Hello everyone, this is Crowbar Animation, and today I've got my hands on the Cable Bots and Pyro Raptor Jurassic World Dominion toy set. And um, just before I start the review, I don't know if this is supposed to be released or not because I cannot find this anywhere in actual stores, but I can find it online somewhere and I can also see videos of people that have it. So I don't know if the place where I bought this just had it early or if I don't know, I honestly don't know. But um, as we always do, we're gonna start off by reviewing the box. So this is like one of the types, like if you've seen the Claire and Dilophosaurus set, it's basically the same preset for the box. They have the dinosaur on this side, which in this case is the pirate raptor and the human character and the little, I guess their um, little utility tool or whatever that is on the right side. And um, so um, then we have the Biosyn facility and Tyrannosaurus Rex being chased by some truck um, background as we always do. We have the Jurassic World Dominion logo in amber. Um, we have the words that says Kayla Watts and Pyro Raptor. Something about warning choking hazard. Um, it says four plus on the side, that's the age. We have the Mattel and we have the, I think that's the barcode. And um, let's see. So if we turn on its right side, we just get another Jurassic World Dominion logo. I don't know why, but the camera's not focusing well on that. Um, then if we turn on the back, it gives us 3D kind of like prints of the toys. There's a lot of information on this side. It shows the, the code that you have to scan to get on the app. It, um, it also shows um, another similar set, the Demetrodon and Alan Grant, which I said I'm probably going to get because I ordered it and I don't know if anything's gone wrong. It was supposed to be here already, but not a big deal. And we, as I said, a lot of information, in different languages, don't want to read through all that. Jurassic World app, Jurassic World Dominion. We have actually a, on the left side of the box, we have a pretty good picture of the Pyro Raptor with the Jurassic World Dominion logo without the words and right next to it. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and go open it off screen and then we will review the actual toy itself. So here they are, Kayla Watts and the Pyro Raptor. And we're gonna be reviewing these toys one at a time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out Kayla Watts and we're gonna start off with the favorite, the Pyro Raptor. So, um, I'm not gonna get into detail very much. The detail's pretty good. There are a few, um, minor issues that I'm not gonna really mention, but as for the Pyro Raptor, the detail's pretty well. Now let's get into the mechanics. So, you, you can twist its tail like so. You can lean it up, like if it was almost like gonna call. One second. You can open its mouth. Um, and it doesn't even have to be all the way open, it can be halfway open, it can be, it can be, um, you can put that, that lower jaw in any position, which is really good for stop motion animation, um, you can, I think you might also be able to lean it down a bit, not very much, but a little bit, because if you leaned it down too far, then it would lose bounce and fall over, let's see, um, you can move its arms, you can't, move it out but you can move it up and down and also for the head there's a little more um uh, flexibility than i said the first time you can twist its head you can move it up and down and you can even twist its head move it up and down at the same time to make a cool pose for instance you could do this or this there's a lot of flexibility to this toy's head also, really quickly, this is where the scan, the where the code is to scan. It's in the Pyroraptor's back, and you have to pull it up. Now, unlike the Atrociraptor toy, for instance, let's bring in Panthera here. I'm pretty sure this is Panthera. Um, you'll notice that the head kind of the it kind of sticks up like its neck, the neck, sorry, sticks up while the Pyroraptor just looks straight forward. So that's a minor difference in the Pyroraptor. 
Also, um, this has nothing to do with the toy, but I feel like in the movies, the Atrociraptor and the Pyroraptors are supposed to be completely opposite because one has feathers, one has scales. Um, the Atrociraptors are in a pack, the Pyroraptor is alone, but that's just something I wanted to point out. But anyway, um, let's get into Kayla Watts. So here she is, Kayla Watts, the human figure in this set. So as for her clothes and her appearance, she looks pretty close to what she did in Jurassic World Dominion. She had the, the brown jacket or coat, the green shirt under the jacket, the dark green pants, the brown, the brown um, shoes. Um, her face is pretty well detailed for something so small. I don't know if she's actually wearing those blue gloves or anything. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've seen Dominion, so I don't remember all the details. She did come up with a little taser, which I'm guessing is what is this is supposed to be the taser that she was using while they were up against the Pyroraptor on the ice. Um, let's see. As for articulation or movement, she can move her arms like this. There, she has, well, actually, for each. For each limb, she has two joints. For instance, like um, on where her shoulder would be, she has a limb, and where her elbow would be, she has a limb, which makes the arm more movable. Instead of you just moving the arm itself, you can actually bend it with the second joint. You can twist her head, which you're about to see. I'm not gonna turn it all the way around. Um, I already showed you that it can, that this toy has two joints on each arm. Same thing for the legs. Um, you can raise the leg with the first joint and then bend it with the, um, second joint like she's walking. This would actually be very good for animators, even though it'd be hard to use. Um, but, yeah, that's just about all the articulation. Oh, I almost forgot. You can twist her, um, you can twist her body, like, on her hips. Which is kind of nice if, like, you're making a stop motion, she would still look to her right and notice the Pyroraptor, that'd be pretty cool. But, in total, this toy set, in my opinion, is definitely worth the money. It was like $15, technically it was $30 because I ordered the Alan Grant set with it, so they're both um, $15. And I'd say these are really good toys for its price. I'd say it's definitely worth the money you would pay for it. Although, I don't know anywhere in person where you could get one of these toys because I looked everywhere and I haven't even seen them. I haven't even seen them in Universal Orlando. But one thing I do know is that um, I ordered this one from Target. So, um, if maybe... If you can, um, try ordering it from there because people, or, like, there are people on the internet who will buy toys and resell them for much more because they're rare. So, if you want this toy and, or the Alan Grant and the, and the Demetrodon set, I'd suggest going to Target's website. I'm pretty sure they have them on there unless they got sold out. Um, but anyway, that's all for now. This is Crowbar Animation out.